From what's in the center of a black hole to the search for intelligent life, here are seven unexplained questions and mysteries in physics. Maybe you have the answer. Number seven, ultra high energy cosmic rays. Every single day, the atmosphere of Earth is being hit by particles from outer space. But some of these particles have a very high energy to them, and physicists call them cosmic rays. By studying them, physicists have learned a lot about the universe at large, including the basis of astrophysics and particle physics. However, while observing these cosmic rays, they notice that they have an energy that is far above what other cosmic rays have. So they are now being called ultra-high energy cosmic rays. What is so mysterious about them is that it is unclear where they came from. This mystery began back in 1962 when two scientists named Dr. John D. Lindsley and Livio Scarsi saw one of these ultra-high energy cosmic rays and its energy output was an astounding 16 joules. It would take one joule of energy for a person to take a small object off the floor and put it onto a countertop. While this may not sound impressive, it's important to note that unlike the force lifting the object, the particle is compressed and focused into an area much smaller. And so, when doing calculations, you see that the particle with all this energy is basically traveling at the speed of light. This means that the energy within it is massive on all levels. But where do they come from? How do they get all this energy compacted into such a small space? It's still unclear. There are theories, including one that says that a dying supernova shot them off into space, but no one really knows. Number six, universal inflation? What created the universe is a topic that many physicists have debated for years and are still debating to this day. Many interesting theories have come from it, including one about how the universe was both flattened and inflated into the form it is now. I'll try to explain. The universe as we know it is both expansive and yet it's flat in the eye of physicists. By this I mean that the content of the universe is actually very well distributed, and so if you go off in one direction, you won't see a larger portion of things than you would if you went to another direction. But for Big Bang theorists, they feel that at the beginning it wasn't that way. In comes the inflation theory, where one section of the universe decided to expand at an astounding rate. This inflation supposedly smoothed out the roughness of the densely populated area, creating a flat universe where everything is more or less balanced and equal. The only problem with this theory, despite how good it sounds to many physicists, is that it's unclear why the inflation occurred at all. Was it a cosmic incident? Was there an outburst of energy similar to the Big Bang? No one is sure and it's practically impossible to test. Furthermore, it's just as unclear what happened within the universe during the act of inflation which could help us better understand not just the principle, but why the universe acts in certain ways. Number five, what's in the center of a black hole? Black holes on their own are some of the most wondrous, dangerous, and mysterious things in the universe. They're caused by many things, including dying stars that have their gravity amped up so high as it implodes that when it forms, even light can't escape. Which brings us to the question, if nothing can escape a black hole, even light, then what is at the center? For such a simple question, there really is no answer. Black holes have been proven to manipulate space and time in their own way, so actually trying to prove what's in the center has been difficult. You can't send a probe into a black hole because it would cease to function the moment it got within range due to the gravitational pressures, not to mention sound waves wouldn't be able to travel out of it. Any object or person would be eventually turned into a string of atoms via the process of spaghettification which is a real scientific term. With no way of observing or relaying information from within the black hole, it's truly a mystery. Is it a portal? Can you travel to another time? This is one thing that many people are desperate to find a way to solve. Number four, is anything faster than light? Albert Einstein helped change physics with his theories of relativity and his theory of special relativity, which noted the relationship between space and time. This established the speed of light to be the fastest thing in the universe, or is it? For the record, the speed of light is 299,792,458 meters per second. You could even call it the universal speed limit. But despite no object truly going the speed of light outside of light itself, many have dreamed of what it could mean if they could. This is a question many physicists have tried to answer, for if something could move past the speed of light, it would change just about everything. 
communication, travel, and more, including how physics works. One of the biggest theories about an object going faster than the speed of light is that they could technically move beyond the bounds of space and time and actually send something to a place before it happened. Ta-da! That's right, faster than light travel could be the beginnings of time travel. Naturally, this would open up a can of worms about how to handle this ability, which is why many are trying to ensure that if this is proven, it's proven accurately. In 2011, an experiment by Opera believed to have results of faster than light travel, but there were flaws in the experiment and so it was deemed inconclusive. Still, many are trying to see if the laws of physics can truly be broken, and if they can, what possibilities they would open up for mankind. Pretty scary ones, probably. Number three, the unified theory. What is the unified theory? To explain this, we have to explain physics first. Well, short physics explanation. Physics is defined as the branch of science concerned with the nature and properties of matter and energy. To that end, they use laws to help define their findings. Two laws were created in the 20th century that helped define physics. One is quantum mechanics and the other is Einstein's theory of relativity. So far, so good. Quantum mechanics explained how subatomic particles worked and reacted, and further explained electromagnetism and nuclear forces. The theory of relativity helped define gravity on a much greater scale. Both of these theories are important, but they don't mix at all, which is both a problem and a curiosity to physicists. Both of these theories have been shown to be right, which is why they're the backbone of physics. And yet, when one of them is used to explain the other, it just doesn't work. So physicists have been trying to figure out a way to make them both work together while not ruining each theory. This is called the unified theory, or the theory of everything. If this theory was found to work, it would greatly change how physics is perceived and how the mechanics of the universe function. Some even believe that quantum mechanics and the theory of relativity are actually pieces of a much larger puzzle just waiting to be found. Number two, dark matter and dark energy. Scientists have a theory about something in the universe that they are desperate to prove. It's a theory about what lies in the unseen parts of the universe. This is the theory of dark matter and dark energy. This all started a long time ago when studies of stars at outer edges of the galaxy revealed that they were moving faster than they should. What caused this? The answer was dark matter, matter that is unseen yet has a pull on objects within the universe. As for dark energy, this came by the realization that the expansion of the universe, as the universe is constantly growing, is going much faster than should be allowed given the gravitational pull of matter itself. So what's accelerating it? Dark energy. In fact, some physicists believe that 70% of the energy in the universe itself is comprised of some form of dark energy. Here's the problem. Despite numerous very credible theories about why these two things exist, scientists cannot definitively prove that they do. Dark matter in particular is nearly impossible to capture, especially with our perceptions of it. Since it is dark matter, it doesn't interact with light in any form, so if you can't see it, how can you catch it? The Large Hadron Collider is said to be a stepping stone to getting dark matter, but it's unclear if it will truly produce what they need to prove the theory. Either way, this is one of the biggest mysteries of physics, for if we can only see 5% of the matter in the universe, is dark energy and dark matter the other 95%? Or is something else out there? That's what physicists are trying to figure out. Number one, are we alone? If there is a question more asked than what created the universe, it would be, is there other life out there? This question has arguably been asked by virtually every human in the world, including many physicists. You might ask, why is a physicist asking this question from a scientific standpoint? Well, it ties into many beliefs about the universe, mainly about the universe being flat and balanced. It might be that way in terms of planets and stars, but not in terms of life. Some people used to think that Earth was in the center of the universe, which was of course disproven. Then there was the belief that planets in the universe were limited, which was also disproven. In fact, more planets are being found every year. But despite all the technology, probes, satellites, and imagery, there have been no signs of intelligent life other than on Earth. If the universe was truly made equally and balanced, how is this possible? How is it that despite finding planets that are capable of sustaining life, known as Class M planets, that we haven't encountered a single alien race? And even foregoing Class M planets, 
we found numerous planets via our study of the stars. So are all of them truly barren or gaseous, unable to support life? This is what scientists call a paradox. One in particular is called the Fermi Paradox, where it simply states that if there are intelligent life forms out there in the universe aside from on Earth, why haven't we been able to talk to them yet? Others say that we're lucky we haven't encountered any yet because we might be in big trouble. This brings up another imposing question. If there isn't other life out there, why did it happen on Earth? Are we special? This can be a scientific and philosophical question. These are questions that physicists ask because the answers have a big impact on how we view the universe and ourselves. If we are alone, that means that we are truly special and unique. Everyone is asking this question. Thanks for watching! Do you have any of your own theories or questions in physics? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!